Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, back in with another review and I'm using my GoPro today. Hopefully the quality is a little bit better, but today we're gonna to be reviewing this guy, the Dark Zone Savage Spin. So this guy looks like it's a cylinder fed, takes six AA batteries, has a 45 ounce capacity, which is pretty awesome. Here is the back of the box. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get this guy unboxed and uh, see what it comes inside. So yeah, let's get to the unboxing. Alrighty, so what comes inside is the blaster itself, the cylinder that's detached, instructions, and darts. Alrighty, so after getting the Dark Zone Savage Spin out of his package, let's take a look at this thing. So starting up at the front, there's obviously no barrel attachment, so you can't put any of your standard um, end strike barrel lug on here. Up top of that, we do have a sling mount, and we do have another sling mount at the back of the stock, and there's a little rail um, up here so you can mount any optic that you want but it's not really a rail since it won't like really attach anything to it so yeah and they are sight so there is two bladed ones but there's no front sight so you're kind of just stuck with just aiming through it and the stock back here it is adjustable you can press near one or two of these buttons right here and you can adjust the stock on however you like it so yeah that's pretty cool. So, and the interesting thing about this blaster is it has three separate cylinders. So as you can see, they have three cylinders and this blaster has a total of 45 darts or 45 capacity. So once you're finished with that cylinder, boom, you push this thing back, pull forward and it will switch the cylinder to a new fully loaded one. And the cylinder can also be removed if you just kind of pop this lock and pull this back and you actually remove the cylinder so you bought extras of these. I mean, I don't know who really would do that anyway since I mean like you're literally carrying around these odd looking cylinders so it would be kind of weird so yeah but this is how you like kind of rotate your cylinder which I think is pretty cool but also kind of makes like a very loud noise so yeah. And obviously this blaster is flywheel operated, so it won't operate without the battery. So six AA battery goes inside this battery tray right here. Take out the battery tray, install your six AA's, and you should be good to go. And the grip is very comfortable. It's um, mo like most standard dart zone grips. I mean, they're pretty comfortable. And the rev trigger is very comfortable. And let's do a little sound test. It does sound a little bit more powerful than your standard Elite Blaster because it does like six batteries compared to the standard four that we usually put in the Strife. And trigger pull. Has a very clicky and smooth trigger because you're rotating the cylinder at the same time when you're pulling the trigger. So yeah, and this blaster is a semi-automatic. So every time you pull the trigger, you fire one dart and it rotates to the next dart and then you can, can continue firing and you can also rapid fire with this too and it comes with 45 darts 45 of the waffle head tips i really like the, these darts they work very well and they're pretty accurate so yeah without further ado i'm gonna get to the firing test of the dart zone savage spin and let's see how it performs so yeah let's get to the firing test all right so now we're at the firing test of the dart zone savage spin and i'm gonna first start off with normal firing And now a little bit faster. Hmm. Alright, 
so as you guys can see that was the firing test of the dart zone savage spin and i hope you guys enjoy the quality a little bit better on my surrounding when i'm reviewing stuff with this new gopro now but anyways this blaster performs just as expected, just as I expected it to perform. But the thing that I have to note, when ordering from Amazon on the picture, it showed the newer version of this, which is the Nitro Shot version, but they ended up sending me the original version instead. So I was a little disappointed in that, but I figured out so myself, I mean, they're both the same anyway, same internals and everything. I mean, it just has the new darts, but I'm not sure what the big deal about the new Nitro Shot is over the Waffle Heads. I mean, they both perform just as expected and are just as accurate as you can see in the firing test. So, yeah, without further ado, the Savage Spin performs just as I expected. No jams on function. I mean, it kind of did jam a little bit because um, when I rotated, it wasn't like correctly. So that's why I didn't fire, but I just kind of, you know, corrected it and it fired just fine. And I like the way you rotate it like this. I mean, it just has that very satisfying click, if you know what I'm talking about. Sounds like I'm pumping a shotgun, but instead I'm rotating cylinders. So, yeah, and obviously the two cylinders that is not inside the blaster. I mean, the one inside still rotates pretty freely, but the two on the outside rotates even, even more. I don't know why this one is making that weird sound, but this one is rotating just fine. But... Yeah, I love how the stock is also adjustable. So it's adjustable to, you know, your correct length. Uh, this length is pr pretty much um, perfect for me, but you can keep it folded in or folded out if you so choose. And the way this trigger is, is very smooth. It has that clicking sound from that rotating cylinder or, or drum. Well, it's called a cylinder, but yeah, I mean, overall performs just as expected. I mean, in, for 30 bucks, or 38 bucks in this case, not bad. I mean, it's a pretty good blaster. The color is a little, um, it's a little bit in the ugly side, you know what I'm saying? You know, the dark blue and green, but I don't mind the color, I mind the blaster. So yeah, I, mean, I don't really care about appearance anyway. I care more about the blaster itself. So yeah, but overall, that's all about this review of the Dark Zone Savage Spin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new POV. So, yeah, I will drop the link in the description down below. If you guys want to pick up a Savage Spin for yourself. And to know, like I said again, I mean, it may seem nitro shot in the picture, but you guys may get the original one or you guys may get the nitro shot version. I mean, who knows what Amazon does. But anyways, that's always review. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And without further ado, Say tactical, it's not for nothing. Peace.